Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You are watching Full Take. Four weeks ago, we uploaded video regarding PixelOS review for OnePlus 9RT. PixelOS has pure Pixel experience with the extra goodies which giving the experience similar to the Google Pixel phones. With numerous performance enhancement and a small amount of useful additional features. From that day, I am using this ROM on my OnePlus 9RT, but on 14th of May, developer Shuga Kesha has released the new update which has several amazing features like new next level of haptic feedback, full 600Hz touch sampling rate and many more. I have given the link of full update under the video description. If you are first time flashing the ROM, please follow the video given under the video description. But if you are already on the Pixel OS, then you will get the OTA update notification under the OTA section. There you can download the OTA or you can use the local update option if you are already downloaded the file. I have update file so I use the local update option. First locate the file, select it, system will verify the file. It will flash it automatically. This process will take 15 to 20 minutes of time. Once done, tap reboot. So today in this video we will see what's new things we get as per change log. We will do full performance and CPU throttling test with the comparison with the old build. And finally I shown some bugs with my final verdict so watch the video till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. One system update finishing got done, let's jump under the about phone. Must watch this timestamp because it has lots of important things. Android version is same Android 13 with the same material clock history. Security patch is now updated to the May 2023. Last build was on April security patches. ROM comes with the Gato kernel and its version is now upgraded to the 5.4.242. Last build was on the kernel version 5.4.233. Build data of ROM is 14th May 2023. Security patch and the kernel version are upgraded is a major part of this about phone. But whole ROM source base now upgraded to the latest release candidate. Now let's move to the another timestamp of the video that is performance and its comparison with the old build. Visibly ROM felt similar, user experience like old build, it's running absolutely stunning, all the activities are extremely buttery smooth. But immediately after installation of update, I felt device got warmer for a while. So I rebooted the device and kept it aside for a few minutes and then everything went well. ROM runs on the Adapt to 120Hz mode by default, but when you enable the Force 120Hz setting under the display, this will enable the constant 120Hz only for the camera application. Screen refresh rate goes down to the 60Hz. Now let's run the Geekbench 6 test. Here we got the score of 1, 3, 2, 6 and 3, 2, 7, 6. For last build these results were 1418 and 3353. Three. So current build has slight low results as compared to the old build. Maybe it's because of Ryzen device temperature but it's not a huge difference to notice. For OpenGL graphics API and the Hulkan API we got the score of 3785 and 5074 respectively. For old build these results were 3730 and for Hulkan it is 5123. Both old and current build has similar results except the CPU performance difference. Visibly both the builds are performing outstanding. You will not feel any kind of lag anywhere. Next we did the UiBench jitter test. I have given the link of UiBench application under the video description. Less the value, best will be the jitter score and most application will run buttery smooth with the good scrolling and user interface activities. When I opened the application and ran the test, results were found good. It remained most of the time below 0.5 milliseconds, but sometimes it goes above 1 millisecond. These results were found similar like old build. Now let's check out the new changes we got in the new update. Don't skip this timestamp, must watch all because here we got amazing new things. First and most important part of the change I liked is new vibration haptics. As compared to the previous build and any other custom ROM or the stock Oxone OS, this build has improved the haptics to the next level. You will feel every bit of haptics while typing, while scrolling recent application or any kind of action related to the haptics. You will feel you are tapping the keyboard buttons or any real life buttons while using the haptics. Next developer has added the new display hull from the Oxonus firmware and blobs from the new Xperia 1 Mark 3 device. 
post-processing blobs were added from the Lanier 2200. We all know that Sony devices has amazing display quality and by using this software codes our 9RT device screen quality visibly felt improved to me. Next developer has added the AOSP high brightness mode instead of live display high brightness mode. Means we didn't get any HPM high brightness setting not even the live display setting under the main setting of the device. But it available directly in the default brightness control. Device turns in the HPM as per the lux values automatically during the outdoor mode. Next developer has updated the Adreno graphics track from the device lane year 2100. If you want to visibly check the updated device driver then download the device info application given under the video description. I have taken the screenshot of OpenGL graphics driver for the previous build. It were found OpenGL ES3.2 at the rate 530. But after updating the ROM it also got updated to the 530.47. Hope this will improve the GPU performance. Next developer switched to the AOSP DOS services so device will work properly for lift to check feature. Previously it has some issues. You will get the lift to check feature under the settings, system and gestures. It's now working properly with the immediate wake up after lifting the device for both the normal and always on display mode. The next developer has reduced the screen FPS to the 60 for always on display mode which will ultimately save the battery if you are using the AOD mode most of the time. Another big improvement is device touch sampling rate was increased up to the 600Hz. To check this is it actually available or not use the touch sampling rate tester application from the play store. Here you can check for the different CPU clock values we get the different touch sampling rates where it was risen between 33Hz to the 1000Hz. Here higher value is more than the 600 this is mostly helps to improve the gaming which will feel more responsive now. Next developer has updated the thermal blobs of device from Lenia 2200. So I tested the CPU throttling using the CPU throttle application to confirm the device CPU thermal improvement because of the new blobs. I ran the test for the 5 minutes on the 23rds and graph went well without any CPU throttling. Whole graph was green and when I stopped the test after 5 minutes I got the score of 89%. Last build was on the 91% of CPU throttling. But the device temperature seems risen a lot during the test because I felt warmer back of the device and side railing of the device were hot. Still device performance was absolutely very good without any drop. So we did the complete review of the features and the changes now it's time to show you the bugs and the issues. If you try to apply the wallpaper using the home screen shortcuts of the wallpaper, it's showing wallpaper application is not installed like error. But when I checked all the user and system application, I got the wallpaper and style application already installed in the phone. So to change the wallpaper, you can use the wallpaper and style setting available under the main setting of the device. Next is all known issue of wideband security is on L3 so we can't able to stream the Netflix and the Amazon Prime at the full HD resolution. Except these all the things are fine without any issues. So what is my final verdict? This update has added some of the amazing feature in the original Pixel OL which has did lots of improvement. So I definitely recommend you to install this OTA and enjoy the new feel of Pixel OS. That's it for today guys, hope you liked my work, then please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.